Mr. Beast is one of the best content creator and YouTuber of all time with more than 100 million subscribers on YouTube. But is his website as good as his videos? We're going to discover you in this video because a couple of weeks ago Mr. Beast launched his new e-commerce for uh, his merch. So let's find out if his website is extremely awesome or if it's a piece of crap. So that's another free tip for you guys. Uh, if you want to become a UI UX designer in a super fast way, just <laughs> first thing guys, as soon as you land on a page, uh, the impact of the website is super eye-catching and that is critical and a key element because it lets the user think, uh, oh yeah, I want to dive more deeply into the website, I want to see all the other content, all the other sections. You need to think about the hero section as your advertisement for your website. For example, you see an advertisement on YouTube, it's really good uh, and you want to dive more deeply, you want to know more about uh, what you see. Whether if you see a bad advertisement, uh, you don't want to dive more deeply into the topic and you don't want to know anything about the product. And the easiest way to create a really nice hero section is to think about it as an advertisement. Make it pop, add some animations and you have the user attention. Not everything shine on this website and the first thing that I can notice that drives me nuts uh, is the cursor. The why is really simple because there is a small animation uh, on the cursor and that has some delay between uh, what I do and what the actual cursor does. And there are some places and websites and experiences where uh, custom cursors with custom animations uh, are really nice. But the thing is that this is an e-commerce. Maybe I want to navigate it is super fast, I want to jump between pages, uh, I want to have the cursor super responsive, but with that, uh, if, I, if I move the finger or the mouse uh, super fast, uh, there is a small delay and that drives me nuts a little bit. Remember that we are in an e-commerce uh, and the most important thing uh, is conversion and user experience. First plus, guys, is the overall uh, look and feel uh, and the overall personality that the website has. The retro vibe, the colors with the GIFs and the 8-bit illustrations, uh, everything together make a really nice uh, experience and that is what you're going to remember even before thinking about the fact that this website is from Mr. Beast. Try to think about that. Firstly, you think about the colors, the animations, the feelings, the fun that you have going throughout the entire website. And then, all oh, this website is from Mr. Beast. We also need to think about the fact that not only Mr. Beast fans are going to visit this website, so we need to think about as many things as possible to make the experience memorable for everyone. Apart from the annoying cursor, guys, what I actually love is how the designer thought about adding motion and interaction to the website with really simple animations. We scroll down, we have some extremely easy and simple animations. We have a parallax effect, some GIFs, and a hover animation for the button. We don't have anything crazy like 3D animations, displacement effects, and all this kind of stuff that is happening right now more and more on web experiences. And that is not super easy to do, friends, because sometimes you end up putting too many things and too many animations on the website and the user at the end of the day feels overwhelmed. By the way, one tip that I have for you guys is that the easiest and fastest way to add interaction and animation to your website is to add, for example, scroll animations or a parallax effect. It's super easy to do in design, in After Effects, in coding, Super easy, super fast, but it adds a lot to the website. Moving on, we can see that we have some mini games and the Europe video from uh, Mr. Beast's channel. Now, this is an e-commerce uh, and yeah, it's nice to add character, to add a lot of personality, interaction, etc., to the website, but adding mini games, uh, videos, all these kind of things, uh, I think that this only distract the user from uh, the main thing, which is buying products. I'm pretty sure that a lot of people come to the website, play the mini games, uh, watch the video, and then think uh, yeah that's a nice website it is well done uh, it's super funny and then leave without buying any product so to me this is not a nice strategy for conversion uh, but two other things that i really love about this website are the footer and the cut uh, side panel if we scroll all the way down uh, until we hit the footer and the end of the page uh, we see this beautiful and customized footer which i really love because it has a lot of personality again we have a really nice parallax effect uh, with all the images uh, and everything is placed so well that the user is not confused by the layout. Everything is well placed into the grid system. We have the main navigation buttons, the images, the titles, and basically the Mr. Beast name. Everything is really well done, so I really love the footer. Sometimes I see websites that want to be really minimal experiences, but they have 
a really messy footer or a really messy navigation that makes the entire experience unusable and super annoying for the user. But having a clear navigation is not that easy and uh, it's harder when you have uh, a lot of objects, a lot of elements uh, in the design. Well done to the designer for the footer and the navigation. About the car side panel, uh, again, uh, super personalized uh, with this really nice uh, pink background uh, with the animation for the title. It's super personalized uh, and that's what I really love about this side panel. It seems super easy and super simple, but a lot of people don't think about personalizing the cards and panel uh, for an e-commerce. So a really nice attention to details. Now for all the other pages, everything is super simple. Uh, again, uh, super personalized uh, for the Mr. Security Shop and for the About. And what I want to take a look at is the fuck section. If we go down to the actual questions, uh, we have uh, the first one, which is the secret video, then shipping and delivery, and then all the other ones. But what I want to talk about here is that, again, it seems like uh, this website doesn't want to be an e-commerce, uh, but more like a sponsor for a C for the YouTube channel because again here we see that the first the main thing is a video and then we have all the questions for the people that actually buy the products. So what I would have done here is I would have moved the secret video section down um, I don't know in the middle of the page or at the bottom and then I would have moved the actual question useful for a customer that buys the product at the top. In that way this page is going to be more helpful for the actual purpose of this website. Let me know what do you think about that. This is 100% a website that is going to be remembered from the user that are going to visit this website. This is what we want to do as designers and developers. We want to make our experience memorable. Sorry, well done on this. Super fast video guys, but I wanted to deconstruct and analyze this website together because I think that from analyzing websites, you can learn a lot. So that's another free tip for you guys. If you want to become a UI UX designer in a super fast way, just deconstruct and analyze analyze what is going on in other designers or another company's website because it helps you speed up the process and the learning process for your UI and UX designer career. That is all for me guys, let me know in the comments down below if you learned something from this website deconstruction, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.